So team keep it clean What's going on It's Engraven here With another video uh, Before we get into everything uh, I gotta say I appreciate all of y'all I appreciate everybody Like sending encouraging messages And stuff And checking in and all that uh, I appreciate it Today um, I'm in a lot better space Than I was in yesterday Still still dealing with everything And hopefully I'm hoping that It can all get resolved soon It doesn't seem like it is But we just gotta wait it out And see how it goes man. But I, I really appreciate y'all um, Just being encouraging And uplifting and uh, building and all that So I, I thank you for that man Thank you to anybody that sent the message uh, Checked in and stuff And I, I love y'all man Shout out to, to y'all For Team Keep It Clean For just being who y'all are I always tell y'all how special y'all are And y'all just always Just continue to show up man um, But anyway Yesterday Yesterday was a uh, A significant day For a lot of Ravens fans I feel like this off season um, A lot of what Ravens fans have been Asking for For a while um, it's been happening Not necessarily everything But uh, some changes that have been made on the coaching staff Obviously um, Greg Roman uh, he the, the Ravens and Greg Roman mutually parted ways uh, He decided to step down uh, Apparently as offensive coordinator So uh, they headed in a different direction with that um, but then yesterday, um, the Ravens made some announcements on some other coaching moves that people have been waiting on. Uh, the first one being uh, the team and head strength and conditioning coordinator, Steve Saunders, uh, them parting ways with him. Um, so apparently they uh, maybe it was a mutual thing again. I, I don't know. But either way, Steve Saunders is not. Uh, on the team anymore And I know Steve Saunders He was a person uh, Who a lot of um, Criticism Was directed at uh, Because the Ravens Just Over the past couple of years It's been weird Especially Obviously 2021 Was the worst But the, All the injuries All the injuries That just continue to occur um, On a weekly basis uh, For the past couple of years And it's, it's just been It's been really rough um, so I know a lot of people have been directing a, a lot of their frustration at him Saying hey the Ravens did the program There's something wrong with it the, the strength and conditioning coach He needs to be held accountable And he hasn't been And I even remember back in um, I think it was 2020 The COVID year When uh, they said that um, uh, He had He was walking around And he had no mask on And he ended up bringing COVID to some players and stuff And da da da, da. So anyway um, But he, he's gone now So uh, they said that Scott Elliott has been promoted into Steve Saunders' role. Uh, so Scott Elliott, he's going to take over being the head, uh, the team uh, head strength and conditioning coach or coordinator or whatnot. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. And now with the Ravens, one thing uh, you got to give them credit for last year, while they did still lose people, which is unfortunate, because um, they lost the first game of the season. They lost um, the corner Kyle Fuller. They lost Kyle Fuller. They lost Michael Pierce. They lost Stephen Means. Um, they lost Lamar, they lost J.K. Dobbins, they lost Gus Edwards, they lost, um, I mean, this is a little list of people who they lost, uh, and it's still, of course, more. they lost Marcus Peters for a little bit, um, who else? I, I know there's more, they lost Calais Campbell for a little bit, but either way, um, while they did lose a lot of people last year, a lot of people came back, uh, a lot of people came back, and some came back a little too early, but a lot of people came back Oh Ronnie Stanley Ronnie Stanley's another one um, But So that's a step In the right direction uh, So the Ravens Need to continue Making steps um, In the right direction For their uh, franchise Now some other Coaching moves um, Is of course Willie Taggart As the running back coach Which we talked about Yesterday But T. Martin T. Martin Who um, He had interviewed For the Indianapolis Colts job I believe for their Offensive coordinator job um, so he's been getting interviews here and there, uh, or at least that we heard about here and there. Not anything too frequent or whatnot, um, but he's been getting interviews because uh, I remember a couple years ago, of course, he interviewed for the Bills offensive coordinator job, um, but it obviously didn't happen. Uh, but now he gets a move uh, from wide receiver coach to QB coach, and I would think that that would be a promotion. That To me, that's a promotion because uh, going from wide receiver coach to QB coach That's that much closer To being an offensive coordinator So that allows him To have another role And he's I believe Yeah it's him That <clears throat> he played QB before So he can help Just um, Whether it's Lamar or Whether it ends up being Somebody else We'll see I, I, I think it's going to end up Being somebody else As Ravens quarterback Unfortunately But we'll see how it goes But um, 
whoever it ends up being, uh, he's going to be able to just, his job is going to be to help guide them, uh, to help be that extra set of eyes for him, to be that extra like brain for him and whatnot. Uh, somebody who the quarterback can hopefully have trust in and build trust in. Now, um, if he's going to QB coach, that means with James Urban, uh, we'll see. Because James Urban is the current uh, QB coach right now. So, we don't know. Uh, now, Jeff Zrebik did say that Harbaugh says the process of completing his coaching staff is ongoing. And, yeah, they did talk about that. Monken talked about that as well. Uh, he said the Ravens have at least one opening at wide receiver coach. Uh, so, I wonder if that will go to Keith Williams. I wonder what's going to happen with him. Uh, so, because what is he, the, um, the assistant, like, pass game coordinator, I think? So, I wonder if they would just slide him to wide receiver coach now that T. Martin is QB coach. So, I guess we got we got to wait and see. Um, Zrebik also said there's also a matter, there's also the matter of former QB coach James Urban and former running backs coach uh, Craig Versteeg's future. Uh, both could be reassigned into different roles. Oh, yeah. So, with Willie Taggart taking over as running backs coach, um, Steve, he was a former running back coach And of course James Irving was a former QB coach So we'll see what happens But anyway, I uh, just wanted to give y'all a little update On all that going on Then of course I know y'all have heard every the, 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 the latest report with Lamar Jackson Contract saying that he'd been turning down uh, His, his counter offer And this ain't really nothing new But they're saying that his counter offer Has been nothing but fully guaranteed stuff um, So I mean I, I just I don't think Ravens are going to budge on that um, So I mean we'll see what happens man Let's see. So I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And we out.